Anyone who eats food in the urban setting can benefit from City Blooms. Urban farms foster community. We are working to reconnect people with the food they eat and the farmers who grow. My name is Nick Halmos, and I'm the CEO and founder of City Blooms Urban Agriculture, currently located in Santa Cruz, California. City Blooms is a company that develops and implements technology and solutions for urban farming, primarily the production of hyper-local and ultra-fresh produce for urban environments. The whole operation of City Blooms is unique. You have this pod and then the things that you grow in there and that come out of there are just amazing. There's no dirt. They're like, well, where is it growing out of? And then you lift up this little mat, it's growing out of here. I think from start to finish is unique. The water being sprayed, how it gets filtered through, how you put the nutrients in by computer, you've never seen done. I was inspired to do this project because I saw a growing problem with our national and global food distribution, precipitated by the reliance on large-scale monoculture agriculture, which necessitates the long-range shipping of perishable food products, which by its nature is very resource inefficient. We are facing a big challenge. It is estimated that by 2050, the world population will increase to 9.6 billion people. That's an increase of 38% from 2010. This means that we need to produce as much food in the next 40 years as we have in the entire 10,000 years of human history. The challenge is even more pressing because of how food is currently produced and distributed. The average family meal travels 1,500 miles from farm to plate, and approximately half of all post-harvest food is lost to waste and never consumed. Additionally, 70% of all the water used in the U.S. goes to traditional farming methods, much of which is lost to runoff. And often, fruits and vegetables purchased in the grocery store are anything but fresh. It can take weeks or even months from the time produce is picked until it's consumed. We have to increase global food production across the board, which means not only making existing food production models more efficient and more productive, but starting to explore new ways of producing food in the urban environment. By implementing and bringing to bear a just-in-time manufacturing concept into the agricultural sphere, we can produce food as it's being consumed. As a result, there's very little waste in the production and distribution cycles. Similarly, when it comes to food miles, by bringing the production of food directly adjacent to points of consumption, we can measure farm to fork in yards rather than miles. That really helps to mitigate the overall environmental and financial costs associated with our traditional models. Hydroponics also conserves water. It uses 90% less water than traditional farms. The challenge has really been about trying to figure out an agricultural solution. And now in order to achieve that flexibility, we've had to develop systems that are scalable, modular and spatially flexible. The City Blooms approach is a marriage between time-tested agricultural techniques and modern Internet of Things technology. When I want to know what's going on, I can log on to the City Blooms dashboard and I can see real-time data of what's going on at the different clusters around the city. I can also change set points. I can change the climate set points and the nutrient set points. And I can see the history of both those set points and the data. Was it hotter yesterday, et cetera? Our systems have co-evolved in, in the real world of being used by farmers to grow produce. And we have made a turnkey system that includes all the components that someone needs to get set up in a parking lot or on a roof and grow food. City Blooms aims to place urban farming on the menu of career path options for young urban entrepreneurs. If you had the farmer in your backyard, how much better would that be? If you could go online and say, hey, all right, I have this growing and you know it's this much farther till it's done, I can use this, or even to be able to say, hey, I have this huge party coming up, you know, I need this, can you grow this for me? Those things I really don't know anybody else can do. It's better than organic. There isn't a farmer's almanac for urban farming. 
and often it's not sufficient to just provide equipment and technology. What we have developed is a process in order to support farmers from concept to implementation to operation. When I look towards the ultimate vision of City Blooms, I see a, an urban environment in which people have increased the quality of food they're eating because it's grown where they live. <music>